Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. It is deep in January. It is January 20th and it's cold outside. Actually, um, it actually warmed up uh, yesterday. Got in, I think someone said it was 80 degrees. Um, California, for some reason, at least Northern California, I've lived here almost my whole life. It warms up about this time of the year going into February. So, if you, so guys, if you want to do that five day training or six day training, depending on how long you want to do it, now is the time to do it if you're in the cold weather because it, it warms up into the mid to high 70s for sure. All right, so let's get let's get back. So first of all, this video is going to be about let's see. Okay, so there's two things you need to understand about uh, narcissists in order to defeat them. Sorry, my thumbs right. I just ate something. Cherry thing. All right, so there's two things you absolutely have to know in order to defeat a narcissist, and I mean destroy them, kick their ass. I am coming to the realization that all those people that are telling you to walk away silently and, you know, once you discover them, don't say nothing. Bullshit. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. Here's why. That is a night. That is a narcissist heaven. I get to abuse someone and they don't tell anybody about it. <gasps> I, it's like now I've got free reign. Now here's the other thing I realized. The reason why these narcissists are hoovering you and they keep coming back, I can't get rid of them, what do I do? You stand up. What I'm gonna teach you in the next video is gonna, it's gonna sting the fuck out of them and they're not gonna wanna come back, all right? So remember, I'm an NLP trainer, I'm a master hypnotherapist. Uh, I do timeline therapy, energy healing, and all that stuff. So this is pretty much adept to what it is that I do. It's all about human behavior. And yes, I studied psychology in college. And I've got tons of books on human behavior and psychology and our nervous system and all that stuff. So the advice that those people have been giving you, I'm kind of starting to wonder, are they narcissists? Because telling you to back away silently and not let the narcissist know you saw their mask fall or slip or whatever. That's the absolute worst advice for you and the best advice for a narcissist. Meaning, it's almost as if, okay, I'm just going to say it. I kind of wonder if some of those people are narcissists themselves. It could be that or it could be that they're fearful. Because the reason why the narcissist keeps coming back and keeps harassing you and intimidating you is because you're not stinging them. You're not hurting them. You know, I'm not gonna give the secrets away. It's gonna be in the next video. Okay, so that's all. So there's two parts. Number one, or number two, you have to learn how to sting them. This video, we're gonna talk about understanding something about a narcissist that will take away all the fear. You have those two pieces and it's game on, okay? All right, so let's get to that. All right, so I'm going to tell you a true life real story that in retrospect, now this happened about, I guess, five years ago approximately. <clears throat> now, mind you, I didn't really know what a narcissist was. I didn't understand this whole, like, what's going on, and I didn't have the name and all that stuff, but I knew, like, ah, oh, that's fucked up. So let me see if I can remember. Let me start with this part of the story, okay? This is gonna be kind of a long video, but you have to put these pieces together. When you see it, the fear goes away, okay? So here's the deal. They are literally like the Wicked Witch. It's it's all smoke and mirrors. It's like the Wizard of Oz. You splash just a couple drops of water on, on the Wicked Witch and she's like, melting, I'm melting. Just like the narcissist will. They will melt the fuck away. They'll be like, oh, God, I can't handle this. And, and you're going to be surprised that you're like, that's all I have to do. Like, that's all you have to do. Get this video in. Get the next video. Hopefully, I can fit it in two videos. So, all right. Let's make – this is a real-life person. And um, let's – I'm going to make up a, make up a name. Uh, let's call him Jeff. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um – uh, let's see if I should start. Okay, I'm gonna start here. Um, one day he took me to the place where he works, 
And he goes, hey, man, and he, and he, his office was kind of in the back, but it had like an open walkway, like a real wide open walkway. It wasn't like a door at all, just a, you know, frame. And you could see the front desk. It was just 10 feet, two feet over something, the front desk, the entry. And there was a, a petite woman in her 40s, right? And this guy, Jeff's a pretty big dude. He's a little over six foot tall and broad shoulders, big, you know, shoulders, big barrel belly and, you know, 225 pounds or more. And he's in his, uh, probably at that time, God, that was, God, what was he, about 46, 48, something like that. And um, he goes, watch this. And I'm like, watch what? And he walks into the other room, or they're right there. And I'm watching, and he just, Rah, where's my money? Rah, and just, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's, and I literally thought he fucking lost it. I thought, man, is this guy in drugs? You know, like, see, on steroids, and I don't know it. Like, what the fuck's going on here? So I run over there and I grab him out, and, and he's cowering, or he's towering over the table, and the lady's like, like this. And so I grab him by this, wow, 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 Jeff, Jeff, and I pull it outside, I'm like, wow, what are you doing? And so she basically goes, it's right here, it's right here. So um, we're walking away, and I know, and I'm kind of looking at him, and he's going towards the car. When we get in the car, he starts to laugh, and I'm like, what are you laughing about? He goes, wasn't that funny? Was, wasn't what funny? What are you talking about? He goes, what just happened? I'm like, you mean screaming, that terrorizing that lady? I'm like, no, that wasn't funny at all. And he goes, no, nah, it was funny. I'm like, no, it wasn't. And, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what, what the hell? And he holds the check up. He goes, I knew the check was there. He goes, when I came in earlier this morning, I saw it there. I'm like, so why did you do that? Well, if you haven't picked up, Jeff's a narcissist, but this is something that you guys don't know about narcissists. This is going to take your fear away. Watch this. So we ended up going, uh, he bought me lunch and that was the whole reason I showed us, Hey, come on down and you know, I'll buy you lunch. Like, yeah, sure. But he goes, meet me at my office. I was like, Oh, okay. Cause I don't think I've ever done that maybe once before. So we went into another restaurant and we're sitting down and he's kind of grinning from ear to ear. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, wasn't it funny? I'm like, no. I go, I don't understand. Do you own that business? He goes, no. I'm like, so I go, I don't understand. Because I'd seen him blow up at the other lady, uh, the one who owned it before. I'm like, I don't understand why, the, why they don't fire you. He goes, well, they can't. I'm like, and that, oh, that's when I go, oh, do you own the business? He goes, no. He goes, I work for them. I'm like, why don't they just kick you out and fire you? He goes, oh, they can't. I'm like, I don't, like, I couldn't, like, well, what do you mean? And that's when he, he gave me one of his secrets. This is a narcissist secret. Okay, it's very important to understand this. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, in this industry, I have, like, all this knowledge. I'm like, yeah. I, he goes, I have all the contacts. And this guy really does. I've known him long enough to where he really has all kinds of contacts in this industry. And he's like the go-to man. Like people from other parts of the of the world will call him. It's like, hey, do you know so and so? Do you know this manager? Can you make a phone call for me? Like he knows all this tech tech technology, this stuff that other people don't know because it's it's a dying industry. And he's like he's like the, the last dinosaur from a long time ago, where he get, gathered all the information. And the newer people don't have it. And he goes, well, they've only been in the industry for like I think he said five years or eight years. He goes, without me. Their business goes belly up. And I was like, oh, so they're, because I couldn't figure out why would these adult women in their 40s or maybe even early 50s put up with this bullying and this, this terror, terrorizing, right? And he goes, he, he said, well, here's the secret. He goes, you need to find something that they really, really want or something that they really, really need and they can't get. And then you provide it for them. And I was like, oh, you motherfucker. And you know what? I can't tell you how many times narcissists have tried to do that to me or have done that to me. Okay. Another thing they'll do is they'll isolate you. Uh, they'll get you to move out of your home and into their place or move cross country. And so many people do that. And then after a few months, they just they argue and fight and argue and fight. And they either kick you out or you finally move out because you can't take it anymore. And now you're stranded because they know you don't have enough money. That's another story. So let's stick to this one. So, but it's the same mentality. It's the same overall technique. You find something that they need or want really bad and they'll love bomb you because now I want your love, right? It could be that, but it could be money. 
It could be that you know something in their industry that they don't, and they can't survive without that knowledge, and that's what he had in this case, okay? So, number one, you really need to protect yourself against people trying to hold something over on you, like, well, I've got this information, or I've got this, and if you don't do as I say, well, I'm, I'm not going to give it to you, okay? So, you got to be really careful of that, okay? So... I was just like, God, what, like, what a dick. At this point, I was like, man, fuck this guy. What an asshole, right? So I think I stopped talking to him after that. I was just like, what a, like, what a fucked up person, right? Now, there's going to be a couple more stories that, that fit in here, okay, that help you understand the mentality of a narcissist. So, so he called me up. Maybe six. This is the Hoovering. Now, I, I, back then, I didn't know what the hell Hoovering was, or you know, no, I mean, I didn't actually. I didn't. I didn't know what that word was or what it meant. All right. So, he called me up out of the blue one day because we. I hadn't talked to him for a long time, probably six months, maybe nine months. It had been a while. And um, he goes, "Hey, man, I'll buy your favorite pizza. Their favorite pizza place is a really cool place here in San Anselmo." And I was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah, it's on me." He's like, "Fucking cool. All right, man. Like, like, a, like a dumb empath. Well." I'll give him another chance, and I really do want that pizza, which really wasn't worth it, but it was this time because I learned something. So we were talking, and I think I brought up this issue about how he screamed at those late at that lady that day, and I'm like, why do you do that? What was that all about? He goes, oh, I told you, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't understand. Like, And I forget what we were talking about or how I got this out of him. I didn't try to. He just kind of gave it to me, and he goes, well, that's what's it. whatever. that." He goes, that's what everyone's doing. I was like, no, they're not. He goes, yeah. He literally believed that everybody was trying to fuck everyone over. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? And he went into his childhood and he goes, my brother. I'm like, yeah, what about it? He goes, we used to fuck with each other all the time. I go, what do you mean? He goes, oh, we would fuck each other over, like, you know, burn our homework. Or he goes, and he would just give me a list of things that they would constantly go back and forth to just screw each other over to give them bad grades, to fuck them over, to lose money, to take their money. And all kinds of shit, right? And I looked at him. I'm like, what? The oh, I know what it was. There was a, uh, he was telling me about, because I said, well, how come none of you guys got the house? Because someone in the family had passed away. And in the will, or in, it, it was left to the three people, him, his brother, and, and the other person. And the one brother thought that, oh, that, you know, like, uh, you guys are ripping me off. And they're like, what are you talking about? Like, we didn't have nothing to do with it. Like, so the one brother thought that he was getting ripped off. So he went and hired a lawyer to sue the other two. They had to go to court. So they had to sell the fucking house in order to, to get the money to pay for all these legal fees and all the shit that went down. And so everyone lost the house. And at the very end, you know what came out? He actually did get paid an equal amount that the other two did. So due to his mentality and way of thinking, he fu everyone fucked everyone over. That is a narcissist mentality. And when I said that to him, I'm like, so is this why you're always fucking with people? He goes, well, yeah. He goes, everyone does it to everyone. I'm like, no. Not everyone does it to everyone. He goes, yeah, they do. I'm like, no, they do. I go, Jeff, this is a filter. Oh, I used to have a big filter thing I used to. I go, this is a filter that you're viewing life through. Imagine here's his eyes, but there's a filter. And as he looks through it, it changes the color of everything. He's not seeing, this is why it's important to meditate because it removes the filter and you get to see things for the way they are in the present moment. So you stop doing these assumptions or these generalizations, right? And you see things for the way they are. So I was like, dude, that's not what everyone's doing. I go, is that why you always fuck me over? And he, and he did, and that's why I kept getting rid of him. He's like, well, you're doing it to me. I go, name one thing. Name one thing. He went, hmm, well, um, hmm, uh, well uh, hmm, I don't know. Uh, hmm. I go, exactly. I go, you go around fucking people over, and then you don't have any friends because of it. You get fired from, from oh, yeah, they, they eventually did shut down the business. This was uh, like nine months later. Or not shut down the business. They ended up kicking them out. They couldn't take it anymore, okay? And I think they joined up with another company. But the point being was then he went on to another business. And they hired him. And I don't know if it was a year later or six months later. They they were waiting for the littlest thing to fire this dude because he couldn't put up with his shit. And I tried to explain it to him. Like, 
they didn't fire you for that little mistake you made. They fired you because you kept fucking with them and fucking with them and fucking with them. And they were waiting for you to do something to where they could legally fire you. Because you think something like, I know so. So here's the thing. Narcissists, they don't... God, how to explain this? Let me, I'm going to grab something. Hold on. Sorry. All right. So it's like, the, and this is the best thing I have. It's like they're looking through a filter, right? So if you look at that through me, well, you can't see me very well, but it distorts reality. It's like you could be holding a red apple, but if they look through this aqua blue thing, they're like, no, it's an aqua blue apple. And you're like, dude, it's fucking red. And they will argue to death about that game. No, it's a fucking aqua blue. It's an aqua blue apple. It's not an aqua blue apple. So his filter is because he grew up with a brother that would constantly fuck with him was everyone's fucking everyone over. That's the way life is. And he said that to me and I'm like, no, it's not. Now watch this. this watch this. When I was trying to explain to him, I'm like, dude, you're looking through a filter. I go, and I explained everything I just explained to you. I go, you think that because that's the way you were raised with your brother and that's the way you guys treat each other and that's the way you've dealt with people and you assume, filter, that's what they're doing. And here's the thing. While I was saying that, guess what he was doing? He was filtering what I was saying through this filter of, oh, you're just trying to fuck me over. You're trying to get me to lower my guard. So I realized as I was talking to this fucking guy, no matter what I said to him, he was never going to fucking believe or even attempt to understand that not everybody is trying to fuck him over. So that's the problem dealing with narcissists. So most people have filters. I, I get that. I get that. But narcissists have extreme levels of filters. Like you and I. Okay, who says? Like, now, this is something I've been clearing in NLP for 30 years now. So this could be a filter. Right? It, it could be green, it could be red, it could be yellow, it could be blue. But it's a, it's a much thinner filter, right? Whereas this is a thick, big filter, right? And that that is a, a way of trying to explain what you're dealing with, with when it comes to a narcissist. This is why there's there's no there's no use arguing with a narcissist. It is just a waste of fucking time. No, no matter what you try to say, no matter how you try to make peace with them, no matter what you try to do, they're going to filter everything through their bullshit, lying, cheating, everyone's getting over on everyone, everyone's screwing each other over filters. They're not going to hear, they're literally, they're literally, let's say you're here and you're literally saying, you could literally give them money. And, and when you give them money just as a gift or for fun or because you're trying to be kind, they don't, that's not what they experience. They're like, Huh, how's this person trying to get over on me? What are they trying to try to manipulate me here? Yeah, I know you you are, now you think I owe you because that's what a narcissist does to you. A narcissist, if they give you money, even if they buy you a gift for your birthday, I swear to God, or your wedding anniversary or Christmas, they're gonna fucking hold that over on you for the rest of your life. Period. I learned oh, wow, well over a decade. Like I, I literally told some people in my family, don't ever, ever buy me something. I don't want it. They would send me gifts. See, I got rid of my family way, oh God, 15, 18 years ago, 20 years ago. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to get some gifts in the mail. I'm like, oh my God, because it's it's not a gift. It's a debt. Now you owe them. Now they feel like I get to treat you like shit. Okay, so, so let's back up a little bit. So here's my point of this actual video. I realized many years, five years later, after watching this guy scream at that lady, because I reflected back to my narcissist experiences through different people, and they try to intimidate you. They try to bully you. They try to terrify you. You're like, fuck. And, and, and they think it's funny. They think it's fucking funny. Now, here's the deal. Because you were so terrified and because of a lot of these YouTube people, they may, they may have genuinely been trying to help. But they're they're coming from a place of fucking fear, going, you gotta back away slow, you gotta because in your mind, you you have unconsciously generalized or, or expanded, delete distorted the the narcissist so big and maybe even put horns on their head and like they're the devil and all that stuff, that you're terrified of them. I am telling you beyond a shadow of a fucking doubt, there's no question. I can give you so many stories, but this video is already long enough is that they're doing it. God, how to explain this? Okay. 
I'm thinking of this time on my last narcissist when he would just like rage, you know, he would just be like oh, all mad and stuff, right? And like out of the blue, hey, what's blah, 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 like, like, she's gonna kill me, right? And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, and then they get you walking on eggshells. You're like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, crunch those eggshells, spit it in their face. That's the next video. We're gonna get to that next. <laughs> You're gonna love that. And so, the, the thing I'm trying to say is when you have people who are trying to help you, empaths, let's say, that have dealt with narcissists, they're terrified and they're making these YouTube videos telling you to back, back away. Because they haven't seen what I would say truly behind the mask. Just like Jeff, when he came out of the office after screaming at that lady, he was laughing, going, wasn't that funny? He wasn't actually mad at her at all. He wasn't in a bad mood. He definitely wasn't raging. And this is the thing that when you start to see this side of them, you're like, wait a minute. So this is just a fun game to them? Yeah, they think it's funny. Because they have a false illusion. Here's something that I say about narcissists. I'm, I'm going to cuss in this video. I'm sorry. But narcissists are fake as fuck. They are timid. They are terrified that you find out that they're more afraid of you than, than you are of them. In this case, this is absolutely 100 fucking percent true. I am telling you. So w when I reflected back, I was like, wait a minute. This is all an act. I literally told my last narcissist, this is something I actually did. It's going to be in the next video. I literally looked at him and said, hey, man, you should move to Hollywood. And he goes, well, why? I go, dude, you're fake as fuck. Okay, that's a hint right there. I'm going to put it in the next video. And it was like, because I started seeing through his bullshit. I'm like, dude, this guy's fucking fake. Like, what? Like, I didn't know what it was at first. I was like, what is this? I didn't know he was a narcissist at the time. So they are all smoke and mirrors. It is exactly, exactly exactly like the Wizard of Oz. When you get to the very end of the, the Yellow Brick Road or whatever it's called, yeah, the Yellow Brick Road, what did they find? Toto ran up behind the big monster machine, all oh, the speakers and smoke and, and I think they even flames or fire go out of it. And he went in the back and door. It's like, no, Toto, no. And, and he bit the curtain. He pulled the curtain open and there's this weak, fat, little old man. He's like, oh, man. He was this little, like, looked like a little boy. And all narcissists, they either look like a little boy or when you really get to know them, they're like little children. They don't make any sense at all. So he pulls the curtain open and, and he's like, oh, and, and Dorothy's like, oh, you mean, old man, that was bad. That was mean. And, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that, my friends, is basically what they say when you go. They, they call it going supernova. Supernova is when you call a narcissist on their shit and you don't back the fuck down because you know that they're pulling your strings. You know they're lying. You know they're making up stories. You know they're purposely misunderstanding you on purpose and gaslighting you and all that bullshit. The next video, I'm going to teach you how to put it in their face in a way that stings the fuck out of them to where they're like, I don't want to be around this person anymore. <laughs> they're not they're, they're gonna be they're gonna wanna they're gonna avoid the fuck out of you all right hey this is mike colleen at mikecolleen.com please understand i swear to you i promise you walking away backing away quietly is the absolute worst move you need to get in their face you need to hurt them not physically and that's here's all oh, this is the cool part about it you don't need to do anything illegal or anything wrong but what I'm teaching in the next video is going to sting the fuck out of them. I don't want to be here. See you in the next video. This is Mike Cooling at MikeCooling.com. We will call this How to Dominate and Destroy the Narcissist. This is part one. Part two is the next video. I might make a series of these. See you in the next video, guys. God bless you. I love you all. I really